Okay, on the king. Okay, no. Okay, no problem. Okay, okay, I will tell him. They are coming to see you with the convoy with the chief minister. They are coming to see you with the chief One forty footer container with consumables. We have sixty four units of various uh, vehicles. Sixty four units. Uh, these include four uh, truck excavators, uh, two units of backhoe loaders. Yes. Why not suppose you consider what is the airport? Let's go formally. Okay. Now um, the reason why we're here. I think to, the chief minister is here to uh, inspect or whatever, look at the equipment. So people want to know the name of your company and uh, why are you here? Well, um, uh, our company is Maripoma Enterprises Limited. We are an originally Ghanaian construction firm that uh, due to the very good investment climate, that has been created in Sierra Leone. We have uh, sought opportunity to be a major construction operator here. And uh, we won the contract to construct the road from uh, Matrujong to uh, Petema. It's a 47 kilometer uh, road. We have imported all the equipment needed for the, the project. Uh, we have um, about 64 units of construction equipment. Your name, and uh, by the way, what's your name? Oh, my name is Mahama Ayariga. Hmm? My name is Mahama Ayariga. Ayariga. Yes, Mahama Ayariga. You're the MD or? Um, I'm the main representative of Maripoma in, in, in Sierra Leone here. Okay. So give us a list the equipment our... include. Uh, we have our prefabricated offices already so that we don't waste time constructing offices and then we have two 20 footer containers uh, of consumables one 40 footer container of consumables 64 uh, vehicles 
These include four excavators, uh, two backhoe loaders, two uh, motor graders, two track tie tractors, uh, five vibratory soil compactors, four units of wheel loaders, 20 uh, somebody's 20 tipper trucks, uh, four units of uh, art heads, two units of uh, low beds, four units of trailers, uh, one unit of uh, oil tanker, um, four units of double cabin pickups, uh, four, four units of uh, trucks, uh, DSB trucks, two units of uh, uh, country buses for uh, workers, uh, two units of fuel tankers for the work gangs, four units of uh, water tankers, uh, one unit of SUV, that's for our office uh, uh, activities. And um, these are all here ready to be moved to site and uh, granted that we are given the clearance we will move immediately to site and then uh, begin preparing ground for sword cutting and for the construction of the Matru Jong Road to begin. Uh, okay, uh, and people might want to know uh, about the track record of your company. Um, where have you worked before coming to Sierra Maripoma is perhaps the biggest construction firm, road construction firm in Ghana. And so when you go to Ghana, we are at more than 70 construction sites in Ghana. And um, we have perhaps the largest fleet of construction equipment also in, in Ghana. Um, we've been invited to several countries, but we've chosen to come to Sierra Leone because we believe that uh, the government of Sierra Leone has created the appropriate investment climate for South-South uh, cooperation and so we are beginning with uh, Sierra Leone and we've come here to make a statement that Sierra Leone is a good place to do business and we are here and if you look at the equipment that we have brought in you can see that we are here to stay as uh, permanent partners in the infrastructure development of uh, Sierra Leone. So we're inviting uh, we have huge stock of equipment back home. We're inviting all other um, people who need uh, equipment services to contact us. We will be able to support, especially if it is in Sierra Leone here. Okay, so give us an insight why it is necessary for the Chief Minister to inspect this uh, machinery before you commence your operation. Well, I mean, um, for now, government is our principal client. That's the first job that we have and it's coming from the government. And so we need to demonstrate to government that we have brought all the equipment needed. Indeed, the equipment here is double the size needed for that road. Because the government has impressed upon us the agency of uh, constructing this road within record time, we have brought double the number of equipment needed for the construction of the road so that we can set up two work gangs and then one gang would handle half of the road and the other will handle the other half of the road so that we can finish in record time okay yeah. and he's somebody who is key uh, for construction companies to abide to the local content policy and when you were explaining there are a lot of machineries that you've come with here and we have a lot of Sierra Leoneans whom I believe will be able to operate them so was there insight in that regard well I mean clearly we will be using workers in the Bo area not Jong area so we were just discussing with the deputy general manager of the port, uh, Mr. Yakuba here, to assist us mobilize um, operators here to move the equipment to the site. And then when we get to the site, we will then advertise and then based on people's competence, we will recruit them uh, to operate the machines uh, for us. So clearly, we we'll create jobs for the people of uh, Bo and Matrujong and the immediate environments, those who are qualified. Then we'll take laborers there, we'll take 
artisans, we will take all sort of skills that are available locally, we will definitely recruit. So approximately, what's the number of people like you be looking forward to employing in Sierra Leone? I can't give you figures immediately. When we get on the ground, uh, you have, let's say, 64 pieces of equipment. The 64 pieces of equipment will all need drivers so and operators. So immediately I can say that for just operators and drivers alone, we'll be taking 64. If we decide to do two shifts, it means that we need to take double that, uh, that, that number. And then if you make contingency arrangements for somebody falling sick and replacements, you need to take at least some 20% additional you know, standby force so that people are on leave, people are sick, people have traveled, people have emergencies, they can't show up at work, the machine cannot wait. So a huge number of uh, just the operators, then we come and talk about engineers and artisans and masons and whatnot for you know, concrete works and suppliers, local suppliers and all that. So it's, it's, it's going to be a big... So when, uh, when, when is work going to commence? As soon as our equipment get to site and as soon as His Excellency is available to to cut the sword for us, we are ready to commence work. Thank you very much. And I think we also have the Chief Minister here. So, and I'm going to ask you this question again, like the same one. And what does this mean to your government and the people of Sierra Leone as a whole? Well, it means quite a lot. It means we, we, we say it and we do it. Basically, what we normally call talk and do. We promise the people of this country that we'll fix the bomb to Matu Road. Remember, one of the few, uh, few roads where the district headquarters towns are not connected go to uh, Matu. Of course, you can't talk about the island because the island is an island. It's, you, can, you cannot access it by vehicle. But we've, as government, we did the 10 kilometers from Boto to Congo that is finished. The other stretch, Petima to Matu, is what has been contracted out to Maripuma, who won the B2 a competitive process. They will already secure funding for the the the, the, the Chikon Court of Putema along that stretch where you have the Bumper Bridge. And it's funding for that, including the bridge has already been secured. The other stretch from Putema to Matu is what it's going to do. It's, it's, it, it means we, have, we, we care about our people. It means we, we do what we say. It means we, it's a government to trust. Okay. And that area is booming in the aspect of uh, mining. So what would this mean in the area of livelihoods for local citizens there? Well, like all the rules, they promote movement of inputs first, a cultural input, movement of, uh, they also facilitate or uh, they promote the, the, the movement of essential commodities for social service. Even books have to be transported through good roads. The, uh, 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 drugs for the hospitals, for the cleans have to be transported. More importantly, like a cultural produce themselves. Well, palm is but true well palm is Cambia well palm is known to be one of the largest well palm in this area. And they have vehicles plying that route from Matu to how do we call it now to Bamwell on a daily basis more or less. So but the road condition has not been the best for the past years and it has never fortunate from Ita Road. As a matter of fact the entire bond district do not have more than three kilometers Ita Road. It is this government that initiated effort during my time as Minister of Finance. And, you know, and I, I mean, personally, I happy to come from there. So it's, I'm very passionate about this project. I saw the funding. I did everything. I midwife it and make sure that it goes. So I'm here first as a, as a country to, 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 to appreciate the contractor who has demonstrated this interest. My understanding is that the value of the equipment is even far more than the amount of money that's been disbursed to him, which means they are here to stay. That's one. And secondly, is that I'm happy that that stretch of Sierra Leone it's been taken care of. So it's like, this is a, a scratch. As you said, there have never been a tar road around that area. So what is uh, government uh, expecting to spend there in that investment? Because it is... Yeah, but the, this stretch of road, if I remember, is about $28 million made up of... I think the contract is about 24. Yeah, but there are other commitments, compensation, and other things taken care of by the government that runs the project to 28. Then the other stretch you go about the same amount again. So you talk about 50 plus or minus that entire stretch, including the bridge, is expected to cost over 60 million dollars. Right. But these particular components, the contract amount is 24 million dollars. And I've been informed that the worth of equipment is nearly 10 million dollars, not you? Yes. That have been bought. 
All right, okay, Chief Minister, talk for the benefit of the general. Then, would they have a more vacancy? The machine there, where one complain, where we win the bid for the part of the bone material road. When a family they remember say the bone material road on one road down, they were previous government on neglect. When the leadership president, Bio, I because the Charity Ministry of Finance, they give me strong directive say, JJ, under any circumstance in this four, five, five year of my term, bone material road for startup will be completed. We go through the process, we get body funding, we get government funding. So we don't go through this. But we don't they wait for the equipment here for long. So we carry out for can see where the contractor tells you the equipment they don't can then they are for can see and make sure that we facilitate the movement of the machines for go bow. So that sometime this month the president to cut the soil for let the project start. So we don't know for can see no more. We the machine force. Yes, see the yes. machine that we then carry. So the next stage now for move the machines. For move the machines, yes. Uh, so when this work will get for being? It could be this month. Within one month they will not start. As the machine they move no more, they get machine now for clear their side and build the work guns. And as you tell you no more, you get uh, how they call this year prefabricated offices. So that's in the way they take and pin them. They put here then they so they should have no problem with that. They don't really engage communities, they know the location, they know where they are going. We've cleared the sites. They have cleared the sites, all that's in the heart. So it's confidence you want to level the people and say this will go down um in the record time. But on, on the basis of the machines, that is the confidence. Because normally what is the slow down will construct the machines. But this kind of machines were available, I really have no doubt why no go down. And quite apart from that, government highly committed to it. As I speak, we don't pay thirty percent. And as we go along on business as we go process the necessary payment there. On our side, really it's good. It's not only exclusively the government, there's a partner fund and the partners they are very willing to support it. And with the machines we are seeing and then plan for get two work guns, I really believe it's a good on record time. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. So can you respect the machines? Please. Yeah. Yeah. Where's salary? Yeah, I see. Yeah. 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 I think you need to talk to SLRI. Oh, SLRI. Yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, because this is directly connected to the US SLRI. So what would be your interest And first tell us your name and your destination. Engineer Alfred Jali no more the director of operations Sierra Leone Rose Authority. The Sierra Leone Rose Authority as everybody knows is responsible for the construction, rehabilitation, management of uh, the national road network. Uh, so which means uh, in situations like this we provide uh, the technical supervision that is required to ensure that uh, the road is being uh, constructed on a specification. Okay. So Take us through what's the specification of this road that will be constructed okay for, first the road is going to be uh, um, an asphaltic concrete uh, wearing course that is what you normally call the quota at the top uh, and then we will have a uh, uh, aggregate uh, uh, sub base that's a, you know most times the rocks that you see the granite rock that you see and then we'll have a sub base uh, of course uh, those are the major uh, layers of the of, of the road it doesn't end there we'll be having some drainage structures such as culverts uh, bridges you know uh, it could be a pipe culvert or a box culvert those, those will all be part of the road okay and because uh, in Sierra Leone we've witnessed some constructions before it's expected to go for years before maintenance but it's kind of like as soon as it has been completed within a couple of years you see uh, destruction of the road so for this one are we expecting to see likewise I think that's a very uh, unfair assessment. As a matter of fact, uh, when we construct our roads, these roads are constructed for for, for vehicles. I mean, on purpose. So, for example, uh, 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 if someone establishes a garage on a road and then uh, uh, there is a lot of leakage on the oil, of course, you expect that road to deteriorate uh, faster than it's, 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 I mean, it's expected to. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, again, we are working with uh, other stakeholders to ensure that uh, th these sort of things do not happen on our road. And of course, we will uh, transmit the same thing on this road. Okay, so you said unfair, but it is happening, right? So what mechanisms would you put in place, for instance, uh, uh, the, the field that leaks some areas where garages are placed? What would you do to ensure that that doesn't happen for this one? I just told you we are working with other stakeholders such as the police, uh, 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 the railroads, rules, uh, uh, safety, you know, and a lot of other agencies, even uh, uh, civil society members, so that we we'll ensure that we educate these people to know that these things should not be done on our roads and that our roads will be used in the appropriate way. Okay. Thank you for talking to us. You're welcome. Thank you very much, um, Engineer Jalil. All right. We'll go on inspection now.
But um, we, they inspect the vehicles there now um, because these vehicles are coming right away from uh, Ghana. Now the construction company come out for them come with every equipment, every vehicles where they're supposed for use for this um, uh, job, uh, free tongue Sierra Leone. So we just want to know that, um, let people know that everything, the machines, they're all concerned. Um, for do the job, of course, um, all sets that um, the only one for move them from the key to the sites. I see them get all the um, cut machines. Uh, we obviously they're supposed to do the job. The only thing I think see then they look out for duty free whereby they go able for move with their machines there for go to uh, different location at the sites outside I suppose for use them you uh, know uh, of course the machines fairly new and um, I believe so they don't do a lot of job before um, and it broke down because by our see not too old the machines are very good for the old construction for now and get a um, tanker for fuel or water and get bus them and get other vehicles well and get um, machines we go to pump generation you know and then all that stuff in the by our see then get um, fairly new machines and then get almost fairly new vehicles as well we for do the job so if you look at the machine stem there are uh, support for light so they in it six kv machines and get about three out of four we then get for use and uh, because when they do the construction on it and this truck we you just see so now, fairly brand new truck, you know, even though they're going to use them as a button, a brand new second hand truck them, we would see. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if the cars are part of it, but I just think, say, the truck them, not then they for the company. They truck them, they come with every bumper. Bowser, a lot of other, a lot of other things. Well, um, the trucks um, fairly new, but naturally, as you the same. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I think see this, this this in me two decades of uh, practice now. This is the biggest operation at one point in time. What I see, yeah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. almost covers everything. Everything. Yeah, because by how we see, they are ready for work. You know when contractors see us, and na, and most yeah. times now yeah. equipment, the now equipment are the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then work there. Yes, for do the job. But um, this one, you see, see, all the vehicles I want to say, they're almost there. And um, uh, apparently, the, 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 when they go start the work, they're not going to catch the aid for uh, plenty of tin. Once this one is following them, these big fuel tankers that you see, they will be coming to Freetown to load fuel. So they will load the fuel and go back to Matu and pack. As these ones service this equipment and get depleted, and the big ones will be refilling 
these two smaller ones for the two work guns. Anytime it finishes, again, they would, you know, drive back to Freetown. So work never stops. There's always uh, enough fuel on site for the machines to be working 24 hours without any shortage. And of course, these tankers are for... Has anybody got drone? Drone. Oh, yeah. Hello, drone. You didn't believe that we could supply you this oh, equipment. So, so why would I believe? Yeah. <laughs> so, so these trucks, these trucks, trucks, no, these ones are not part. Those private vehicles are not part of. Mm -hmm. It's the pickups. Oh. Uh, if we come for tax exemptions and we are importing SUVs, won't you suck us? All right, um, well, of course, we um, almost complete the inspection of um, different vehicle. Um, some of the SUV, as so we see, not a part of the the truck them actually but you get some other trucks them we actually in a part of most of it are the machines them we um the sea machines they all are the sea <laughs> we have a number that 
that is specified, a minimum number that is specified. But based on what we are seeing, um, the contractor has mobilized even beyond what we are expecting. So, um, so far, so good. We are fully um, satisfied and we are looking forward to commencing the project itself because um, this is part of the process. But the actual works itself, when it starts, that's when we talk about the commencement. So we are, we are fully satisfied. And, I mean, I like the provision for night work. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. This one, so which means you can only yeah. conveniently run two shifts. You can run two shifts, several shifts at a time. Yeah. 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 So. We're ready, sir. Yeah. We will not disappoint. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so we we uh, we need to look at towards the end of the month to for the community so no, the sir. Well, when do you get ready? Depends on uh, the, the readiness of His Excellency, the schedule. Because we don't want to go and start. For us, uh, it will take us a week to get everything to site. Because we're actually planning. Uh, DMG is making arrangements for us to be able to start. Uh, uh, press up to Kex. Kex. Okay, now I'm going to stick in the room. Anyway, I saw that one. I will communicate with you guys. So see, let me see yeah. the schedule. Yeah. Maybe if it does it before I go for you, and that would be nice. That will, will be appreciated. Yeah, yeah. 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 It doesn't delay. It doesn't delay. Yeah. Yes. This is the fifth. Because uh, it won't be good to go and park the equipment. No, no, you start work. You start work. In the town. No, 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 no. Start work. No, you go to yeah. start work. Yeah. Yeah. You go to start work. When it comes, you will turn this one. Yeah. And that is, you will do Kilari and other stuff. Yeah. But we'll, let me talk to him. Okay. The, the other consideration could be, you know, normally when he's moving, the mass mobilization. That's going to affect registration in those areas. <laughs> Brother, if you ginger up. They can ginger up people to go yeah. and register. Yes, that's, that's correct. That's they, correct. They, they now have a good reason to register. Yes, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. So, no, yeah, that, that's good. We plan it. Mm -hmm. I, report. I don't know who's going to give me the full video or what of this. I don't know who has a comprehensive photo of this or video. One of them can produce it. Hmm? Your press secretary can. Can you? Okay, 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 so, so we, are, we are ready. We are ready to hit the ground. I'm, I'm happy. As I said, this this one of those uh, those troops. I mean, it's, it will never go to bed. It will never go to election without this war. I mean, for obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, understandably, so we have to put on the body rules. But does not only lead to some time, but it's 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 been the abandoned rule in the country. It has never benefited from it. Even one kilometer of time, never. So it's really really satisfied to see the photos of this. And it will be satisfied when you see the documentary in Africa. At least we now comfortably go and tell the Mr. President, the machines are here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah now we are having a discussion with him for time on this machine. We were here at several things where there were delays. But the, the major reason for the delay was. <laughs> it, it's not easy to, to mobilize this level of yes. equipment. You see, one of the problems, one of the problems in recent times. In fact, today, if you are giving the money, go and buy this equipment. You won't get them immediately because of COVID. There was a problem with SIM cards, chips, the SIM chips, the chips for equipment. You know, a lot of the equipment are now electronic, and they are controlled by the chips. So there was a worldwide shortage of chips. So if you are looking for equipment, it will take you on the average seven, eight months for them to be able to supply you the equipment. Uh, but we have our ways with suppliers. So it didn't take us that much time to mobilize the, the equipment. We have 20 fold of this back in Ghana, but we promised the president that we're bringing brand new machines and apart from the two work gangs the machine for two work gangs for every every set of equipment there is one spare machine every set of equipment there's one spare 
that we added so that if there's a problem with a machine one group will not wait because that machine has a problem no immediately uh, a backup will take the place and the work continues so, so how do you do so in terms of servicing the consumables the three containers that we set the three containers contain every spare part that we know needs to be replaced uh, within a given period of time. We know because we use these equipments every day. So we know that when you use this one for a month, you need to fix, you need to change this, you need to change that. So the three containers contain the spares. So we don't need to buy anything. In fact, even the engine oils, to be sure of the quality of the engine oils that we'll use on them, there are engine oils in the, in the containers. Mm. So everything has been planned. Everything, every conceivable, consumable that we use at our site is in the containers. Mm. Mr. Finance, is mm. that value for money? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you look for the money. Well, you know, in projects, you say you, you deal with both money and time. Uh, time, yeah. Yeah, so now that you are mobilized, we're expecting that you start on time. Yeah. And then with all your equipment on the ground, we believe yeah. that you'll be able to ensure that you deliver this project in time for the president. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so we are happy to receive you. Yeah. Uh, and we are happy for the scale and yeah. the quality of the farm itself, the company. Yeah. We need big companies in the country to be able to do big projects. Sure, sure. Yeah, and in time. Yeah, sure. Most of the problem we have here is seasonal as well. Mm -hmm. So you are thinking you are coming in at the right time. The construction window is short. So we, exactly. we, we factored that in, in the planning. Exactly. That the construction window is short. Six months. So you must have the capacity to, to cover as deliver. much as possible exactly. within that short period. So this is the right time. The rains are almost coming to an end. Yeah. If you are mobilized, we know that by the end of the month, yeah. very active, effective construction work will start. Yeah. Yeah? And we know that in six months, there's a lot that's going to be seen visibly. Yeah, sure. yeah, so we're happy to receive you on the ground. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. What, uh, Mr. Minister, uh, Chief Minister, do you want to say um, anything? Well, just to say thanks to everybody. Start with the Minister of Finance where this project was born. Uh, I mean, there are staff, particularly who oh, we are behind it, communicating with Badia all over, following up. Then S to, to, to SLRA, SLRA, all the technical work, technical discussions, managing the procurement, they went through all that. Then finally, the, the contractor themselves, of course, from the Chief Minister's Office, responsible for delivery and coordination, have been following up on the steps. So I'm happy and I wish to see, to express my sincere gratitude on behalf of the President and Government to to the team that worked on it and the contractor and we look forward to the successful turning of the soil and commencement of work. And this is also going to help in the job market as well. Well, a lot of jobs are going to be created. I mean construction, I mean that's it. over two, three or four hundred jobs are going to be created with major implications on the commodity market because there's going to be increased demand for food stuff in those areas. Engineers from Ghana and from Sweden are going to be deployed in those areas. You know, so there's, 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 uh, there's, it's huge benefits. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The portman, the portman. Yeah, I heard you came last night. Yes, yes, I came. Yeah, 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 yeah. The portman. Okay. Uh, what are the talks, sir? Ah, uh, you talk to the general manager and the port. Yes. Uh, now, so far, um, obviously, we don't see the kind of equipment under your domain. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, we are very, very proud because uh, these are the only ports in the country. I mean, just like putting old man no box. The ports nine are the conduit for trade and investment at the country. I mean, for uh, that equipment here, we can't the port. We are very proud, and we tell the government thank you. We tell President Bio thank you because I mean the construction of that road day now a major priority for this government. So we tell them thank you. So generally, the Queen Elizabeth II um, key, well, our key. Mm -hmm. you know, how how improvement in terms of. Uh, because remember first time we didn't say what a key. Uh, that we expect now? Well, I will throw that question back to you. What do you see? You say you don't come visit the port. What do you see? Well, I'm pressed, but uh, maybe you get a mechanism where you could make that happen. Well, now the hard work of all the managers, the hard work of all the team where they are at the port. I make the port town like I did so today. 
and we are very very proud i mean this sport is doing business and this sport is in business so by making you see all them people are with around we i mean they all come for can see the equipment here we can but most important thing is that this sport here don't pass the isps code isps and audit wouldn't they perform uh, after every two years for ensure say the port safe and the ports ready for business i mean we don't pass down there for the very first time in the history of this country so this port is ready to do business all right so in other words give confidence to business people in terms of uh, security no penetration and uh, let everybody get confidence that if tiff tradi oh na be the report you don't we don't kill our own tenant the port you know they are again don't die you don't die mm. we don't better mm. yes yeah, so the port is safe uh the port is ready to do business so people don't forget confidence then get one of the best partner the sub region so you know i'm talking the mechanism what i use for kill that if uh, that if they are saying that the work a teamwork mm -hmm. of all the managers mm -hmm. all the heads of department that a teamwork now in the now in the technique now in the tool for kill all that if if maybe they happen now try the thank you very much uh jim yeah welcome thank you sir. thank you Well, um, obviously we the round up now, and um, the chief minister don't do inspection. Um, the the uh, okay, yes, sir. How are you, sir? Uh, now talk to the um, boss man at custom. How are you, sir? Your name, sir? Yeah, Abu Kane. Yes, sir, Mr. Kane. Yes. Um, how custom the one is this different from the first thing? Oh yes, but we innovations don't they we make the job simpler this is. You can able to sit from your comfort zone, transact all your customs business online, make your payment. You only can probably one car examiner and take you consignment go. So as far as we concern the innovation don't come up. Innovation there. But I don't introduce a lot of um, reforms. Yeah, reforms them. And then um, how customer really they appreciate the customer because formerly they when they kick out the container and they are the whole day, you know, they say when they make make them a delay because they go for empty the whole container, you know. So how customer really they appreciate um, the NI? Well when you really get the right agency for deal with we don't get this platform when the Asikuda where they will make you they know stage by stage how you work to go. We make you know really need for you don't need for cab and customs where you're not ready for take your consignment I mean, go. Mm. Like before you will cancel the whole day, you don't know the level to which you did, within the apple, within the apple. But now in bits and pieces you don't know stage one, within the apple, when they effectively may they come to you in terms of in the form of alert. When they move from one seat, they don't trigger to the next level. And they notify you when you for come, when they do examination, exactly. Once you don't know when you come for examination, you don't need for cut a custom. Like before you come for the whole day and rambo. So then our big platform now we don't know. We got this software what they call a scooter. I think so you go to a scooter one. With the Asikuda, you name, you team number, you alert every stage of activity. What they do in your name. You see they the alert the country. So that to me is a big plus where we all for appreciate because it makes you get the awareness. If you pay one thousand, you lose the one thousand you pay. But before now, the man will tell you to give me twenty thousand. When you can pay one thousand, the balance I pass I no pass. You don't know. So, so as far as those confidence you are left with um, people who do business. The business people for get confidence in the system and uh, the few steps the winners are supposed for take when are the right steps them. For make sure say things go right, let us help you because we can't do it alone. Now, like partnership, so we need the cooperation. Just that they able motivate you for more. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. You welcome, sir. I'm sure the best. Well, thank, thank you. you yeah. All right. Well, um, I think say so we the roundup, and um, we will left now with this that um, this a company from Ghana just come with some equipment and. Um, they go for construct road construction in Sierra Leone and then come for stay. Until then, this is not the SLBC and now for telling our thank you for all that listen. Thanks to my cameraman David and uh, of course Alex and uh, Mina.
than Mr. Siri. And I wish you all the best when we hand over back to New England View or continue this broadcast. Until then, bye-bye.